Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can get a refund on Bucking.com and going over the cancellation policy. So let's get right into it. Now, when it comes to refunds and cancellations, the policy solely depends on the policies and arrangements made by the provider or host. As you can see here, the terms and conditions are available on Booking.com, so you can look over them for any detailed information. Uh, and on the trip providers or host information page during the booking process fine print or in the confirmation email or ticket. Now, after making a reservation, uh, some hosts will allow guests to either make a prepayment or pay at check-in or check out, which then may be eligible for cancellation or a refund depending on certain rates, fees, and policies set. Uh, and in addition to this, the host will also inform the guest on how long they will be allowed to cancel a booking. Now, uh, once you've gone over the policy of the actual provider and looked through booking.com's terms and services, uh, terms and conditions, and whatever it's called, uh, then you need to check the uh, claims section. And to get a claim or your refund back through booking.com, you need to either A, contact customer support, or B, search through the confirmation email and search for any contact information regarding the actual host, where you'll be able to contact the host and get a refund from them directly. Now, if you have any, any unanswered questions regarding your refund, it's best to contact the customer support and the help center, where an employee will then ask uh, questions about the cancel accommodation, time and date, and the payment method used. Uh, then the person will help solve the issues and inform if the payment has been issued or is pending. And uh, if hosts cancel the reservation uh, or reservations, booking.com refunds you immediately. However, the process time may, uh, may take 7 to 10 days, depending on the bank. And that is pretty much the entire process. Uh, that's all the inform information that is currently available on it. It all depends on the hosts, usually, and sometimes Booking.com can take over if there has been any fraud or a host cancellation. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.